Hearts or People, a non-professional review of Albuquerque's urban design. The message that I want to transmit is mostly how cars can be the major form of transport in cities because of the social, cultural, and environmental impact that car-centered cities have. If we were to compare how much space there is for pedestrians and for cars in Albuquerque, we would realize that the difference is huge. This is not an Albuquerque thing, as it happens consistently through most of the United States. But changing a whole country can be too big of a talk, so let's just focus on Albuquerque. When walking around the city, you can see a lot of parking lots and the crosswalks can be very chaotic as many cars will drive even if it's green for pedestrians. It almost feels like the city is built for cars and not people. Many people in Albuquerque don't have a car. Not having a car means that you have to take the bus to go to most places. The bus doesn't run late and it might not be safe at night. It also means that people without a car have to live in the center of the city if the job or school is located there, as buses don't go into the suburbs. But living in the city is more expensive, so some people can't afford it. Another option would be to ride a bike from the suburbs, but the roads that are accessible for bikes are not safe. And it also takes a long time to do it, so only people who are in a good physical condition can do it. Old Town is one of the few places in the city that doesn't have that many cars, and instead it has more places for people like plazas and shop streets. It's also one of the most touristic places in the city because of its special atmosphere. Old Town being people-centered probably has to do with the Spanier origin of that place. Environmentally, car-centered cities are not sustainable. They pollute too much and the cars make sound contamination a problem. No one likes smelly, noisy and polluted cities, so why don't we try to make an effort to change that? Socially, this is Amsterdam as an example of a people-centered city. It's sad to see that everyone is enclosed in their own cars, instead of people walking around the city and engaging with each other, even if it's only in the form of eye contact. There are way too many parking lots. All of this land could be taken for commercial and residential areas that will boost the economy and development of the city. These parking lots don't have to disappear completely, but they just need to be built underground. Why would you create a parking lot next to a mall when you can just build a parking lot underneath it? That leaves more free land and you can make the mall bigger and better. New Mexico is charming. People here have the same vibrant enthusiasm for life as Mexican and native people have. Cities like Albuquerque trap everyone in confined spaces, whether that is a car, a house, etc. And that doesn't allow us to interact with the strangers as much as people ages ago used to do in this city. Albuquerque has very changing weather throughout the day and throughout the year. But most of the time, it's nice weather, where people can enjoy being outdoors. So why don't people just do that? The touristic places are badly connected with each other. There's a bus that goes from Central to Downtown to Old Town. But that's really it. There's no way to get to the Sandia tram other than by driving, or by a really long bus ride in which it's necessary to do one transfer. There are not that many things to do as in events or big celebrations. This doesn't have to do with urban design, but I feel like it's a consequence of it. There are not that many things to do in Albuquerque as in events or celebrations, except for the balloon fiesta and artworks that happen every now and then in downtown. Albuquerque is too flat. There are no big buildings. The consequence of this is that everything is too far away and it takes a long time to move around the city to do normal daily things like going to the gym, going to work, etc. Everything is so far away from everything else that it's almost impossible to do some things without a car. This makes it sound like I hate Albuquerque, but it's not like that. I definitely think that there are a lot of things around the city that are nice and smart, like having the universities in the center, 
or having the airport close to the city. The green places around the city, even if I think we should have more, they are very beautiful. Downtown and Old Town are full of museums that are inexpensive and interesting. I care about the city, that's why I think that we should harvest the 100% of its potential. I interviewed seven people asking all of them the same questions. All of them agreed that Albuquerque is too flat and that they don't like it enough to live in Albuquerque for more than 10 years. Six out of them also said that Albuquerque needs more homeless people shelters and more tall buildings. Five out of them agreed that Albuquerque doesn't have enough green places, and all of them agreed that the best way to move around Albuquerque is by car, and that that differs from other cities where they've been. Based on what the interviewed people asked me for and my personal opinions, Albuquerque should look something like this. Albuquerque should have a central area with tall buildings where people can live in apartments if they want to. This also makes sense to be built here since Albuquerque is in danger of hurricanes. The city will also have suburbs, but this will be better connected with the highway. There will be a peripheral area bus system that will go around the outer parts of the city and that will connect to the city bus system via transfer bus stops. There will be a lot more green places and the touristic attractions of the city will be more connected with the center of the city so that they are accessible. We will have a mid-sized stadium to be able to have concerts in this city and the museums will be more advertised since art is part of what this city is known for. It would also be a good idea to have buses or shuttles that go to the Sandias and the White Sands so that the people visiting New Mexico choose Albuquerque as a city to sleep on. There will be a lot more homeless shelters so that walking around the city feels safer and that the city looks cleaner. Central will be even more student focused with pubs, cafes and things like that and with apartments so that students have another option to live in that are in the dorms, but that it is still close enough to the university to not have to go by car. Traffic in the central and touristic parts of the city will be limited by, for example, reducing the speed in some streets or no parking allowed in some places like Old Town Plaza. There would be a lot more bike lanes and rental bikes and scooters so that there are more options apart from the bus, walking and the car. Bike lanes will also be extended in some wild touristic areas like Bosque or Rio Grande so that people can do exercise around there. There will also be extended in the suburbs so that people have more transport options like we said before. Some people also suggested having a subway as another transport method if Albuquerque gets big enough. Subterranean garages will replace the usual parking lots so that a piece of land isn't taken just for parking cars and that it can be used for an actual building. We need more crosswalks and not only in the streets that connect with other streets. This way people can more easily move between the two sides of the road. Some of these options are unrealistic enough and they wouldn't work in our current city model. But like I said before, when talking about the interviews, all of the people that are interviewed wouldn't like to live in Albuquerque for more than 10 years because they say that it feels boring, dull, and almost desertic. So let's make Albuquerque a city where we want to live. Let's make Albuquerque a city with character, a city that feels alive, a city with actual citizens walking around the streets and not just big boulevards filled with cars. Because at the end of the day, there's no point in living in a city that's full of people if you can't actually interact with those people. Albuquerque should be the city where people from Albuquerque want to stay in and not trying to escape from it. Albuquerque should be a city for people and not cars. These are all of the resources that I used. I especially want to thank all of the people that helped me shape this project and that uh, all of the people that interviewed and 
also the professor because I got inspired to do this project because of the lectures.